Kim Minch with a weekly update from the ICCAC. This week, we will be covering the Athletes of the Week, last weekend's JUCO Jamboree, and the scores from this past weekend. First up, the Athletes of the Week. Football Athlete of the Week is a Keith Teague from Iowa Western. Teague was a large factor in the Ravers' big win last weekend, running for 260 yards on 26 attempts, including one touchdown. Teague now averages 135.2 yards per game and has seven touchdowns on the season. Men's Soccer Offensive Player of the Week is Juan Carrillo from Marshalltown. Carrillo scored five points in Marshalltown's 3-2 win over Iowa Central. Carrillo also scored the game-winning goal in overtime for the Tigers. Men's Soccer Defensive Player of the Week is goalkeeper Will Lukowski from Iowa Western. Lukowski leads the nation in shutouts with 10 and has only allowed four goals all season. Women's Soccer Offensive Player of the Week is Giovanna Alves Dos Santos from Iowa Central. Dos Santos had six goals in the last two games for the Tritons for a total of 13 points for the week. Women's Soccer Defensive Player of the Week is Sarah Porter from Iowa Central. Porter is a key component to the Tritons' shutouts of their last two opponents. Volleyball Defensive Player of the Week is Alyssa Whitmore from Marshalltown. Whitmore is averaging 14.8 digs per match to lead the Tigers' defense. Volleyball Offensive Player of the Week is Megan Cole from Marshalltown. Cole had a total of 48 kills for the Tigers last week. She posted a career-high 17 kills in their 3-2 win over Iowa Central. Also, we would like to congratulate the two athletes who won the National Athlete of the Week back in the first weeks of the season. Sophomore defensive back Demarcus Carey from Ellsworth won the National Football Defensive Player of the Week for forcing four turnovers and blocking three extra point attempts in the game against North Dakota State College of Science. Secondly, freshman outside hitter Maddie Gray from Southeastern won the National Division II Player of the Week for her average of 6.1 kills per set. At the time, Gray had a total of 165 kills and 12 total stuff blocks to lead her team to success in the beginning of the season. Next, the ICCAC held the annual Juco Jamboree in Cedar Falls. Ten teams represented the ICCAC at the Jamboree. The other 14 teams came from around the Midwest to play three games to kick off the 2013-2014 basketball season. Thank you to all the teams and fans who came out and made this year's Jamboree a success. Finally, we have some scores from this weekend. Iowa Western football bounced back from their first loss with a monster game against Arkansas Baptist. The Reavers put up 11 touchdowns to win 84-40. Ellsworth football fell to Georgia Military, 46-13. Six of the Panthers' points came from kicker Dayton Balvance. North Dakota State College of Science football lost a close battle, 14-13. The Wildcats had two rushing touchdowns, but a missed extra point proved to be costly in the game. In men's soccer, Iowa Western extended its winning streak to 13 with a 1-0 win over conference rival Marshalltown. Iowa Central defeated Indian Hills 5-0, with Mitchell Conning having two goals in the shutout. In women's soccer, Iowa Western had a dominant performance this weekend, shutting out two opponents. The Reavers' first win came over Illinois Central 10-0 on Friday, and then Heartland 11-0 the next day. Iowa Lakes beat Scott in a conference matchup 3-0. In cross country, Iowa Central competed in the Chili Pepper Invitational, where freshman Franklin Tooney finished 7th in the men's 8K. Also placing was Iowa Central women's team coming in at 5th in the 5,000 run. Go online to see the complete results from the JUCO Jam this weekend at www.iccac.org. Also check us out on Twitter at iccacsports for up-to-date scores and more.